the Wyverns of Ark Survival Evolved. There's a few of them, and they are such an integral part of Ark now. Used by so many players today, it's hard to find a tribe without one. Whether it's owed to their identical abilities being a nasty bite attack, a knockback wing flap that doubles as harvesting wood, thatch, cactus sap or charcoal, or its fantastic ability to scale maps with ease, with many wild creatures ignoring it, or its ability to transport creatures up to the size of a stego. The wyvern is very similar to what one would assume to be a stereotypical dragon, and there are many different types of wyverns, each with small but distinguishable variations in size, shape and colour, but of course their own individual breath attacks, which really set the rank of each, and don't forget all can harm allies. The fire, poison and lightning variations initially were introduced on Scorched Earth, followed by the ice variant in Ragnarok, obtainable by stealing an up to level 190 egg from their nests, and raising the most primitive form with enough torches to provide the insulation to hatch, followed by a requirement of wyvern milk to be fed to baby wyverns, farmed only by either knocking out a wyvern or attempting to kill an alpha for a milky stockpile. Years later, Crystal Isles would drop the Tropical Ember and Blood variants. However, this time being both an egg raid like before from an air variant or passively tamed with primal crystals. Harvestable on the map and used like wyvern milk as the new food for maturing baby crystal wyverns and very easy to farm, making these almost starter creatures. See my top 10 video on starter creatures as to why and additionally offering further levels up to 225 and see my guide on that if you want to learn more. And now of course this year comes the Void Worm, another passively tamed variant, however requiring anything but passive tame tactics, needing to reduce its health to its damage threshold and then initiating a minigame similar to an Equus, whereby you'll need to feed it mutagen. No eggs to steal this time, but this time able to tame out a 285, almost 100 levels higher than the original 4, and easily raised with simply meat this time, and again see my in-depth guide on the Void Worm if you want to learn more. And since TLC 3 last year, all wyverns are now breedable, allowing you to mutate and improve the stats of all wyverns. But at level 1, all wyverns share the same stat. And with that being said, let's look at the differences in their breath attacks ranked by you, the community, as per my YouTube polls. You're right kids, it's Rasklark, and with all that being said and done, let's rank every wyvern as per your community votes in my polls here on YouTube, testing and comparing the different breath attacks. So here we go, in at number 8, the Ember Crystal Wyvern. Of course, one wyvern has to take the lowest spot, and surprisingly, it's the Ember variant. And whilst I can see the community voted this so low because of it being perhaps a lesser version of the original Fire Wyvern, it certainly shouldn't be overlooked. With a base 14 damage at level 1, with a further 45 hit points over the course of its breath attack, the longer ranged but narrow fire breath increases over time the more it's used, bumping that initial 45 damage up and up and up and up the more you keep breathing fire enabling this wyvern to be devastating if you've got the stamina. But you voted it in at last play, so let's see what's next. In at number seven, the ice wyvern, and I would totally agree. I would even put this one at last place myself. I don't see this one as a powerful entry within the list. Whilst the aesthetics look fantastic, its base 17 damage combined with the ability to slow the target's movement speed over a period of time just isn't a great entry compared to the rest. Though it has to be said the breath attack can have some advantages, it's just a shame it's a really short range. Of course being superseded by things like the snow owl that has the ability to freeze things in place rather than just slow them down. So it's an agreed low entry. In at number 6, the Poison Wyvern, and I've got to say this one is criminally low, and perhaps you may have voted this one so low because of its accuracy. Of course, possessing one single projectile of poison that can be quite slow, but can travel further than any other breath attack, and furthermore is devastating, ignoring armor and inflicting torpor, with a base 88 damage at level 1, with a further 10 hit points during its cloud effect and certainly consider wearing a gas mask to counter one of these, and perhaps that's why it's been ranked so low, having the ability to be countered quite easily if you're wearing the right gear. Moving on to number 5, we've got the OG Fire Wyvern, seen to be one of the best ones to have points rolled into melee. 
the Fire Wyvern deals a base 17 damage that burns away a small percent, in this case 75, of the target's maximum health over 10 seconds. And perhaps it's voted more so because of its aesthetics, it is a very nice looking Wyvern, but certainly not the best, so what's next? In at number 4, the Tropical Crystal Wyvern. And with a question, an easy time to nab if of course your character is the right level. Possessing a jet of water, knocking back its foes and reducing the HP and stamina, it kicks out a base 12 damage followed by 40 points during its breath attack, but is in fact the fastest wyvern of them all, as it has the ability to be buffed by water like a spino to fly even faster, but I'm assuming its starter appeal has got it to so high a place. In at number 3, the very menacing looking Blood Crystal Wyvern. A very cool entry with a base 10 damage and then 35 during its effect. And what a great effect that it fires a bloodstream that damages and siphons health, healing the Wyvern in the process. And the siphon ability can stretch really far. And don't overlook, it can also heal from eating corpses like an RG. And with that breath attack, as well as looking like a pretty cool Wyvern, it's no surprise to see this so high. In at number 2, the Void Worm, the latest entry to the Wyvern roster. And why is it so high? Well, it's a great choice for PvP, being able to damage structures up to tech, inflicting perhaps more damage to structures than any other creature. And despite its base 0 hit points, it does inflict some damage. Well, over time, so you can kill creatures with the Void Worm, despite some creatures saying you can't. And certainly don't overlook, as I said at the start of the video, this is the highest level Wyvern you can get in Ark right now, as well as also having the ability to de-saddle riders. Just good luck to you finding and taming one within the Space Void in Gen Part 2. I tried this recently and it didn't go very well, which leaves only one more Wyvern to pick. But before we get to the number one spot, Let's take a quick look at the other variants that are either temporary tames or otherwise. And here it is at number one, the Lightning Wyvern. A great choice to pick for number one, and I do sort of agree. With a base 22 damage, you might overlook this as being perhaps not as powerful as you think, but it really, really is. With a concentrated beam of lightning inflicting the same damage constantly that stretches pretty far. With additional torpor effects, the Lightning Wyvern's beam attack is a devastating blow and certainly a good choice to take on titans. In fact, it's the only wyvern I would recommend taking to a titan fight, which I guess sums up this wyvern to be the number one spot it deserves. And do you agree? Comment below, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this. What more top 10s would you like to see from me in the future? My name's Ras Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, peace out.